restoration and revitalization. Those are the big buzzwords in Attleboro tonight. The governor himself got a first-hand look at how residents will benefit from the big changes. NBC10 Money Watcher Allison Bologna is live in the studio with those details. Allison? It took a little bit of time, but the mayor greeted the governor who made the round speaking with city leaders. This project is coming together thanks to a multi-million dollar grant designed to create more green space, improved access to mass transit, and here's the key, urban housing. After some time planning and millions raised, a groundbreaking to help bring more people into downtown Attleboro. It took us approximately five years. Five years and more than $3.9 million from the MassWorks grant to construct this riverfront restoration, a new riverfront drive and riverfront park. All of these buildings right here along the river will soon be demolished and green space added. We spoke with the engineers. There will be a lot of vegetation, native vegetation, and places for people to sit, and a bike path, um, and for pedestrians as well. And across from here, this construction is going up, where residents will soon be able to live with a mass public transportation system, all within a block's walk. According to the developers here in Attleboro, the goal right now is to get the permitting process complete by late fall. And then this building they hope will be rented out, commercial space on the first floor, residential above it, by early spring. Attleboro, like many cities and towns in New England, have seen sort of a decline in people moving out of the downtowns, but this is your hope to push them in. Absolutely, and we've also done some smaller housing unit projects in the downtown. This is the largest one that we've done, 80 units here, and the grassy knoll right behind me is going to be the second development pad with an additional 160. Is this costing taxpayers anything extra? Uh, the $3.96 million is from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, so that, that does come from taxpayer funds, but as the governor said, this is investment. The goal here is economic development. In addition to new housing, there will be 20,000 square feet of commercial space. For the NBC 10 Money Watchers, I'm Allison Bologna. Back to you, Jean.